welcome back to another video. My name is Kara Michelle and I am here to help you live your truth. So today's video, we are on A Course in Miracles Lesson 5. So I'm really excited. This lesson um, is a quick one, one of my favorites, but let's dive in. So starting with chapter five, it's all about wholeness and spirit. And it's understanding that there is the direct communication between who you are as a whole being and your spiritual self. And that there's not this like body, um, the, when the spirit's original state of direct communication is reached, neither the body nor the miracle serves any purpose. So when you are in your spirit, you're fully embodying that place and in that connected place and way of living and being, then you are already in so much alignment. You are in miraculous expression just by being yourself. And so there's nothing else you need to complete you or turn you into what it is you want to become. So um, you can make an empty shell, but you cannot express nothing at all. And I love that piece. You can make an empty shell, but you cannot express nothing at all. So even when you are feeling so down and distraught and in the struggle or in a negative limited place, you might feel like you're an empty shell, an empty vessel, like there's not much here for you, but you cannot express nothing at all. You still are divine creation. You still are an amazing spiritual being. So no matter how small or limited you feel, there is still an expression there. You just need to remember it and tap into it and let that light shine. So you can also destroy your medium of communication, but not your potential. And it's basically saying you can, you can wait, delay, paralyze yourself or reduce your creativity to almost nothing, but you cannot destroy your medium and your potential. So you still, no matter what goes on, like I said, no matter what's going on in the external world, no matter how you're feeling, you cannot destroy the innate ability that is within you that is here to allow you to live this limitless life and live connected and really be in your true power, back to your true self, which is spirit and source. So it's realizing that accepting and loving and connecting to that true self is going to open up doors so then there is no time there is no limitation and you're able to just fully embody your true nature your true self and they love this part too where it says all my brothers are special if they believe they are deprived of anything their perception becomes distorted so when you believe you're deprived of something, your perception becomes distorted. You are disconnected from your true limitless potential, from the true being who you are and the source. And you're going to perceive things like things don't work out for me. Um, like I'm a victim. Life is hard. All of these different negative limiting things. That is all distortion. Distortion in the mind. That isn't truth. That's just your perception because you have been cut off because you believe in the falsehoods or the lies that society tell us because you don't believe in your true self and you have kind of lost that connection and that inner power so when you can realize that and you come back to wholeness with your spirit and your true self then you realize there is no deprivation you have everything you are everything and everything is possible and that's the place that you want to live from in order to live out your dreams or manifest or align with everything that it is you want. So that is kind of a general summary um, of chapter five. So let's go to lesson five. Okay, so lesson five is a really good one as well. And it's, I am never upset for the reason that I think. And so the idea with this is anytime you're feeling fear, worry, depression, anxiety, anger, hatred, jealousy, or any of those limiting negative things, you want to say this, I'm never upset, I'm never angry, I'm never fearful for the reason that I think. 
And this is because once you realize the underlying root cause and the underlying issue here, you're going to see everything differently. So if you're having a fight with um, your partner or a friend or a family member and you're really angry with them, then you want to catch yourself and go, okay, I'm never ups or I'm not angry at so-and-so for the reason that I think. This kind of creates that separation that we talked about yesterday and this detachment where you're able to look at the bird's eye view of what's going on and see that what is the actual reason. Usually it's a culmination of things, it's piling up. And if we break it down, which is really, really important to do, the further you break it down, the more you're gonna realize it actually has to do with like a deep inner child wound or a deep experience from the past where, you know, it, it has to do with control or it has to do with not feeling loved or appreciated, um, something like that. So it's not this one little incident that you're angry about. It's the fact that that incident reminds you of all these other times in your life where you felt like you were put second or where you felt like you were unappreciated. And that is where you can break it down and really dive into that healing and healing it from the root cause instead of just getting caught up in this one example, this one little moment of anger and believing that's the problem. The problem always comes further down from that. And um, that's a huge part of my inner presence method, which I coach on, which you can hear about in other videos not related to A Course in Miracles. But it's because everything we perceive and experience as children is deeply rooted in ourselves and how we see the world growing up. So this lack of love is really a deep wound that a lot of people struggle with. And when you can identify where it's coming from and some of the patterns that you maybe have or like where it started, that's going to allow you to really notice major changes and do the healing from the source. So this is to help you realize that there are a lot of reasons or sources of upset and it's probably not just the one that you think. So you're creating awareness and you're gonna examine what is distressing you and really look into, you know, where does this actually come from? What is the root cause? You know, what are the little pieces of the puzzle that made this extra heavy compared to just like this one thing that caused me upset or anger? Because again, it's usually a pile up of things from various people, experiences, all that stuff. And then we just carry it. Another great part it says is there are no small upsets. They are all equally disturbing to my peace of mind. So don't create a, this is don't create a hierarchy of this is more important, this is not as big of a deal, this is totally fine. There, there are no small upsets. They all impact you on a level deeper than you know. And treating them with equality and understanding and importance is going to help you heal and work through even more. If you just brush it off and say, oh, it's, it's that small, that doesn't really matter. No, there is something there that you need to get to the root of and really identify and, and work on if you don't want to continue having those things happen again and get in, in that spiral. And it says, I cannot keep this form of upset and let the others go. For the purposes of these exercises, then I will regard them all as the same. So same thing, they are all of equal importance. You need to work on, you can't just work on one and dismiss everything else as it comes up for you throughout the day. I am never upset for the reason that I think. I am never angry for the reason that I think. I am never sad for the reason that I think. And look in, like that bird's eye view, look down at what is going on here. Where does this actually come from? And work through that level instead of just staying up here on what you think is going on or what you think is the problem. So you can try this, it says to do it three or four times during the day, but if you, if you wanna do it more, you can. Again, this is always an amazing exercise to practice your, account, uh, your awareness and create a major shift. So the more you can start to become aware of your thoughts and what's going on and 
how you're responding to life and the more you see what those responses are coming from, where they're coming from, from your past, the sooner you're going to have that freedom. So give that a try. You can let me know in the comments how it goes for you. And even if that makes you realize like, wow, you know, I, I lashed out at so-and-so yesterday, but it really wasn't because of what they did. It was because of my own problems or my own stress or because of everything else that went wrong that day. Or, um, oh, you know, I was really upset about this, but now that I think about it and I do that work, I realize it stems from a time when I was a little child and I didn't feel like I got the attention I wanted and so I felt really small and worthless. And so that's what that kind of feeling came up in me yesterday at this situation, right? It's really about creating that awareness, that understanding of where these things all come from and then applying it so that you can like heal, release, <laughs> let it go and move forward. So give that a try. Let me know how it goes and I'll see you tomorrow.